book could be number one. I was really very excited about it because basically the message of The Secret is the message that I've been trying to uh, uh, share with the world on my show for the past 21 years. The message is that you're really responsible for your life. You are responsible for your life. I've known this. I, I've known this since the color purple. In 1985, I've probably told you the story when I did the color purple, but in 1985 I did the color purple. Prior to that I had read the book, Larry. Now this is a this is when I got the secret thing, but I didn't know it was called the secret. I read the book The Color Purple and then went out and got books for everybody else I knew. And I was obsessed about this story. Obsessed about it. I ate, slept, thought all the time about The Color Purple. I moved to Chicago. I get a call from a casting agent asking, would I like to come and audition for a movie? I've never gotten a call in my life from anybody for a movie or anything like that. And I say, is it The Color Purple? And he says, no, it's a movie called Moonsong. And I go, well, I've been praying for The Color Purple. And I go to the audition, and of course it was The Color Purple. I audition. I don't hear anything for months. And I go to this, this fat farm, and I think it's because I'm fat, because I was about 200 and... 12 pounds at the time and I think I didn't get the call back because I'm so fat and I'm at this fat farm and I'm praying and crying saying to God uh, help me let this go because I wanted to be in this movie so much I wanted it I wanted it, I wanted it I thought I was going to be in the movie there's all these signs that I should be in the movie and I go to this fat farm and I'm praying and crying and as I'm on the track singing the song I surrender all I surrender all, all to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender all. I'm singing that song, praying and crying. A woman comes out to me, and she says, on the track, it's raining, and she says, there's a phone call for you. And the phone call was Steven Spielberg saying, I want to see you in my office in California tomorrow. Now, what I learned from that, it, that moment absolutely changed my life forever, because I had drawn the color purple into my life. I didn't know Steven Spielberg. I didn't know Quincy Jones, who saw me in Chicago in 1984. He was he was there for a lawsuit that was.